Welcome to my Abyssos, the Fifth Circle Guide. This fight puts you against the Proto Carbuncle, who is pretty simple to deal with. Most of what makes him difficult is Marcus that call too much attention to themselves for what actually happens. Let's get into it. The mechanics of this intro bit come out pretty quick, back to back, but are often not dangerous due to being the tutorialization. His first attack is to run to a corner and cast Searing Ray. Searing Ray is a frontal AoE you avoid simply by going behind the boss. The AoE start point is from the middle of the hitbox. There will also be staves floating around Carby. This marks the attack as magical, which likely is something that means a lot more for the coming Savage fight. His next attack is Ruby Glow, a heavy raid wide that will do up to around 40k damage. This will place a Ruby Mirror across the arena, cutting it into two halves diagonally or four corners. You can walk through the mirrors at will, and so can Carby. Magic blasts from the boss, however, cannot. This first time will be a diagonal mirror, bisecting the arena. He will jump to the corner of one of the halves and begin to cast Searing Ray again. The ruby mirror will reflect the magical cast back at Carby, damaging the entire half of the arena Carby is on. To avoid, simply be behind the mirror in front of Carby. He will then use Crunch, his tank buster. Mitigate decently and heal up after. It's the first fight so it doesn't hit too hard. Next is Topaz Stones, placing four stones that do small AoE explosions after a few seconds. Just avoid the AoEs and note that they too have the magical markers. Immediately after exploding, Ruby Glow will be cast, cutting the arena into four corners for another set of Topaz Stones. This time, the stones will be pressed up against two mirrors, in two different quadrants. You can see the AoE marker climbing up the mirror too. When these explode, the magical explosion will reflect off the mirror and damage the entire corner. Simply stand in any section without a crystal. Sonic Howl comes a second or two later, which is just basic raid-wide damage, about the same or even slightly weaker than Ruby Glow. Carby will do a few more casts of stuff we've already seen before enraging. Not the wipe kind of enrage. He jumps mid, casts Acidic Slaver, and stuns the party with a very weak raid-wide hit. This forces the fight into Phase 2, which is where it actually begins. He will repeat through mechanics for a Ruby Glow and Topaz Stones, into an upgraded Toxic Crunch. This is a boosted crunch that now also applies a poison to the target. This cannot be removed, you just have to heal through it as needed. After a few auto attacks, we get Venom Squall. This is a set of three mechanics at once. Stack up while casting to bait the first part. Players will have AoE puddles placed on them, which explode with poison shortly after. Dodge out of them after they are placed. About five seconds after, all players will also explode with unavoidable poison damage. This is a hard hit, doing about as much as Sonic Howl. Quickly heal up while stacking up for the third and final hit, a stack marker. You have about 7 seconds to heal, and it does fairly light damage with all players in the stack. Light mitigation can put it below 20k damage per player. Heal up decently though, as he follows this up with Sonic Owl. Topaz Stones is also upgraded to have two types of stones. The same Topaz Stones we know, and Poison Stones. Poison Stones lack the magical indicator. Instead of exploding, these will begin to slowly expand. They eventually stop, then remain at their max size for a good 10 seconds before vanishing. This leads right into Starving Stampede, which spawns five blue markers around the arena, and a red bite marker. This bite will jump from marker to marker, showing the order of where mechanics will go off. Carby will jump to each spot, back to back, doing a large AoE. He is untargetable during this, so focus on staying near the edge and rotating in the same direction as the bite mark. 
Dodging into where the first AoE went off will dodge all other AoEs, so long as you go from the 4th or 5th tower to that first spot. If you are hit by any of the AoEs, you are dead. This stuns you, for Carby to have a snack when he lands. He will gobble up anyone who is stunned, then spit you out in a random direction. You will do an AoE explosion where you land and take 999,999 damage. Focus on doing the mechanic while the boss isn't available to attack. His final mechanics are iterations of things we have already seen, but all thrown in at once. First is a second version of Ruby Wright and Topaz Stones. This time, the Topaz Stones will be placed one at a time. They function the same, exploding each area they are in. However, all four quadrants have a stone, so you must dodge from one into another where the explosion has already happened. So dodge from either of the adjacent quadrants into where the first explosion is. Make it quick. Second is Ruby Wright into Topaz Stones and Searing Ray. The arena will be cut into two sides. One side will have a magical Topaz Stone along the mirror, and the opposite corner, a Poison Stone. Move to the side of the mirror without the Topaz Stone and opposite of the Poison Stone. As the Topaz Stone explodes, Carby will dodge to one of the corners that have not been bisected and cast Searing Ray. Make sure you are on the opposite side of the mirror of the ray without moving back into the Poison Stone. Finally is Ruby Glow, Topaz Stones, and Venom Squall. The arena is split into four, two opposite corners having Topaz Stones. A third corner will have a Poison Stone. Move into the singular safe quadrant for the Topaz Stones to go off. Stay stacked as much as you can to minimize danger zones from the first Venom AoE. Then quickly spread out without walking into the Poison Puddle. Then of course, stack in and heal for the final hit and following raid wide. From here, mechanics will repeat until Carby falls. Congrats on making it through the first fight of Abyssos. There are greater horrors yet to come. Thank you for watching this guide on Abyssos, the fifth circle. Leave a like, comment, sub, all that stuff. Follow my socials link below, and maybe follow my Patreon to support more content like this. Take care, and may the power of Anna Nidhogs lay waste to your enemies. And an extra special thanks to all my patrons over on Patreon, with an extra special thanks going out to... Ashtree Dweller, Eamon Alkateeb, Benjamin Han, Benjamin Haynes, Benjamin Rice, Sadia Diosasan, Serix, Ethan Olson, Frazier97, James Hall, JB Hruska, Jericho, Kevin Lowe, Marlon Sebo, Mizella, Nick Griffin, Poppins205, T Rogue, Timmy, and Zero Two. Thank you all for watching, and see you all for the next one.